Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Millie and I love any makeup, especially shiny, shifting, sparkly eyeshadows. And today I'm going to be talking about the new Nomad Cosmetics Whistler Snow Lodge Palette. This is what the packaging looks like. Again, 20 out of 10. They always click with the packaging. That's for sure. And this is a perfect winter themed eyeshadow palette. This color story is so, so cute. When they started sneak peeking some of the shades, I was getting very, very excited, especially the shade Snow Bunny because it's the cutest eyeshadow pen I've ever seen. Obviously I'm biased because I love bunnies and it is a bunny with a ski mask on and Nomad did give this to me so thank you so much because now I can film a video early for you and I also have a non-affiliate code that I will put up on the screen in case you're interested in picking up this palette. This palette is launching tomorrow and it will be $39. I love that there's so much depth in this palette not just with the shimmers but with the mattes as well and there is a beautiful duochrome called Ski Bum right on the bottom and it is just so so stunning. I couldn't wait to play with this palette so let's get into the three looks that I created with it and then at the end of the video I will give you some of my thoughts. The first look, I'm going to do a little two-toned eye looks. I'm going in with Snow Bunny and putting it right into the first half of my crease. It's just, obviously this is my favorite shade and I love the imprint in here. Like, seriously, if I could have like a plaque of this <laughs> to hang on my wall, that would be amazing. And then next to that, going in with a Ski. Okay, I took that definitely a little too high up, but it's fine. Taking Snowmad right onto my lid. I'm gonna slowly work it up into Snow Bunny. And then taking Bucking Great onto the outer corner, and I'm gonna slowly again blend it up into the green. I am getting a little bit of patchiness right here as well as right in my crease which is a bit unusual. Definitely did not have that happen to me. I switched my brush and I'm just gonna pack on a little bit more right there, as well as the deep green. And I'm putting down some Fanny Pixie Poxy right in the center. I'm going in with a Berry Cool. And I'm just using my finger to tap it on. This is such a beautiful metallic. I'm gonna go in with a brush just to perfect it so I have more control. Just blending it out on these corners. Finishing off this look with Bucking Great and just connecting my lower lash line. Put on the Ardell 371 lashes and here's the first finished look. For the second look, I'm priming with the Natasha Denona shadow primer. I'm gonna go in with For Fox Sake, which is hilarious. I love these names in here. Super cute. Just popping that right into the crease. I'm gonna go in just with a little bit more to deepen it up. Then I'm just gonna use a little bit of setting powder to go around the edges. Taking Gone Skiing, putting it on the outer corner. Holy pigment. I'm going to take it a little bit into my crease as well and blend it in with that reddish shade and then just start blending and blending. Putting on just a little bit more so I can really wing out this outer corner. And then I'm gonna go in with For Fox Sake just a little bit more to bring it back right here. I'm gonna do a fake half cut crease with my Fernie Pixie Epoxy. I do like to tap on it just a little bit so it's, there's not too much product. And going in with Up to Snow Good. Ah, oh, I love these. And that's going to go kind of right all over the lid. That is such a beautiful cranberry shade. And then above that going in with Ski In. And that's going to create that separation between the deeper crease mat. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more. 
finishing off this look with gone skiing just connecting my lower lash line i'm taking powder specialist i'm gonna use it for my inner corner highlight i think this needs to be wet a little bit to really get that pop it's a little better i put on the ardell 371 lashes and here's the second finished look All right, last look. I already primed with you, Natasha Denona Shadow Primer. Going in with a light green shade. And I'm not going to be taking it all the way because I'm going to be deepening it up with Booking Great. Just like right in the crease, just a little bit. Next, I'm taking the What's Up Beauty R101 brush which is a really great little pencil brush. And I'm gonna use it with For Fox Sake and I'm gonna create a winged liner with the shadow. I'm just gonna take it all the way across. Just staying close to my lash line. And then I'm gonna perfect this wing last. Going in and packing on a little bit more and then this is when I sharpen it up there the inner portion here as well then I'm taking an even tinier pencil brush this is the refer 23 I'm gonna deepen this up with ski out which is a black I'm gonna kind of take my time and I'm gonna take it literally right against my lash line and just kind of swipe it on, tap, tap it on. I just want to deepen this up lightly and not completely. So I'm trying to stay really controlled. I'm having a bit of fallout. And then I'm just going to use the other pencil brush to blend that out. And then sweep away, sweep away. Taking the Pixie Epoxy from Fahrenheit and I'm going to create a fake half cut crease. I'm going to take it down a little bit onto my lid and I do like to tap this out. So I already did this on the other eye and I think I would have actually wiped this off so that my skin tone would be the base because right now the green is the base um, and I'm going in with Powder Specialist. And so see, it's kind of layering over the green and it has like a pinky purpley reflag to it. I definitely think this shadow needs some sort of wetting or a primer like the Fairy Pixie Epoxy because it is pretty powdery and sheer. By no means like super, super shiny or sparkly. And I'm gonna take it a little bit down onto the red because it looks actually really cool. When you layer this shade over the red, I think that would be another look that I would create with this palette, is to layer this over for Fox Sake. Taking the 23 brush again, and I'm gonna finish off this look with for Fox Sake under my lower lash line. I'm not really taking it far. I'm taking Ski Out. I'm just gonna darken it up. Taking Powder Specialist on my pinky. I'm just gonna swipe it down on my inner corner. It really just, it needs a lot of help to really pop. I put on the Kiss Bless lashes. Here's the third and a final look. So, so keeping in mind that I haven't used all the shades, but I did use quite a few shades. Stay tuned because I will be doing some reels and TikToks with this palette. If you would like to see more inspiration for looks with this palette. In the first look, I did have just a little bit of patchiness, but I really think that was the primer because when I switched to using the Natasha Denona eyeshadow primer, they all worked really beautifully. I had no issues building or anything like that. So I really think it was the primer. Again, like I said in the beginning, I love the depths in this palette and it really just makes such a huge difference for me with the kind of looks I like to create where it really 
like to deepen up the outer corner or when I'm doing halo eye then inner and outer corner so you can do some monochromatic looks with the blue and the green I didn't use three of the shimmers all the shimmers seem like they're exactly the same kind of like formula there's no difference in texture or anything like that they're the usual nomad cosmetics metallic texture super super smooth on the lid packs a punch doesn't accentuate any skin texture whatsoever the only shade that I'm not the biggest fan of is powder specialist I just really tried to make that one pop and it just feels pretty powdery and even with a tacky primer it just doesn't quite get to the level that I would like it to but take that with a grain of salt because I do have a specific preference in metallic eyeshadows that might be different from what you're looking for in a shimmer metallic formula I really enjoyed doing the three looks and now I'm absolutely dying to use ski bum I plan on keeping that for a reel so make sure you're following me on Instagram and so that's everything for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel I would love it if you subscribe there's so much any makeup content uploading my channel lots and lots of tutorials and much more to come you don't want to miss out so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time